month and rightfully so about Connecticut small businesses who have been forced to shut down. But we want to talk right now about the ones deemed essential that have stayed open. They have their own set of challenges, specifically how to keep their employees and their customers healthy. Well, there's some good news on that front. And to talk more about that, I'm happy to have Joe Brennan, the president and CEO of CBIA, the Connecticut Business and Industry Association, on the phone with me right now. Uh, Mr. Brennan, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Please tell us about this partnership. Well, good morning, Tim. Thanks for having me on. Uh, yeah, just a week ago, it went into effect that all essential businesses had a uh, mandate uh, safety masks, uh, some kind of cloth covering in the workplace. Uh, so for those very small businesses that are maybe having difficulty in acquiring the mask, we went into partnership with the state of Connecticut, uh, the military department, through our CONSTEP affiliate. CONSTEP is uh, the local uh, state of Connecticut manufacturing extension partnership. So uh, we, the CONSTEP folks really did the heavy lifting here, creating a website that small businesses can go on. You just go out to ctcovidresponse.org, and there you'll see a form, uh, Essential Small Business Mask Request. So they can fill out that form. If you're under 50 or, 50 or fewer employees, and you're, as you said earlier, defined as uh, essential by the state of Connecticut, you can fill out that form. We're working with the military department around distribution of over half a million masks through the municipalities. So once you fill out the form, the town would notify you uh, as a small business where and when you could pick up your masks, up to two masks per employee. Uh, so it's just getting started, and uh, hopefully it will be successful, and those small businesses that have been having difficulty acquiring masks will be able to get a supply. Okay, so yeah, just to go through the bullet points here, you got to be deemed an essential business. It has to be 50 or fewer employees. And you did say you had to register, even though you're going to be contacted by the municipalities, you have to register first on that website. Please give us that website again. Yeah, so what you would do is go on to ctcovidresponse.org. Uh, that's a concept uh, created website. And there you'll see a form for essential small business mask request. And the reason you have to do this is the, the municipality won't necessarily know every business with 50 or fewer employees who's deemed essential in their town. So you've got to go on, register, and then we uh, give that information over to the state. Then it goes to the municipalities for notification of the company. So it should be uh, fairly seamless for the small business. Just go on that site once, yeah. fill out the form, and then wait to be contacted by your local town. Now, that's a lot of mass that you mentioned. So this is wonderful news. Uh, do you have any sort of projections on, because this is only going as long as the supplies last, uh, how long you might be able to provide these masks for before uh, at least this first set of donations runs out? Yeah, I, I think this will all happen fairly quickly over the next week or so uh, that the distribution of this 500,000 mask uh, quantity will, will probably be used up. Now, the state is doing, I talk okay. to the state all the time, the governor's office, they're doing everything possible to get as much uh, personal protective equipment from around the world as they can. It's arriving now in the millions of units, uh, whether it's gowns, masks, gloves, whatever it might be. So we're hopeful that if we deplete the supply that there will be some more coming behind it. We just have no idea if that's the case or not. So I just encourage all the small businesses, again, 50 or fewer employees who have been designated essential by the state of Connecticut to move quickly uh, to try to get your initial supply. Uh, and real quickly, uh, we're almost out of time. Can people donate mass directly to CBIA or should they go to the state? Well, the easiest thing to do is go right on that same website, um, ctcovidresponse.org. Uh, as it was initially created, it was to match up needs with supply. So if an organization needs masks yeah. or other PPE, they can go on. Companies that have supplies go on there. We try to match them up. So that's the easiest thing to do. Okay. Well, Joe Brennan, the president and CEO of uh, Connecticut Business and Industry Association, uh, you tell me before we came on the air, you're working as hard now as you ever have in your life. Thank you for all you're doing to try to help keep these small businesses afloat. And thank you for taking the time to join us.